YTPC, how are you? Bagpiper coming at you on this International Pipe Smoking Day. Day. Uh, it has been raining for days now here in Georgia, uh, which sucks because I have this John Keller Cobb packed full of McClellan's 2015 vapor. I love this smoke. Uh, it's actually just a light sprinkle, so we're gonna attempt it. If it starts raining too much though, I have to stop and roll the window back up. This stuff's got a little over a year of age on it. It is fantastic. <clears throat> like I said, it's been raining, so this is actually the first pipe I've had in like two days. So how nice is it that I get to smoke on uh, IPSD? I did get a couple of things in. Uh, I've been stocking up on some Balkan by Brebia. Got like six or eight tens of it now. Haven't actually smoked it yet. Uh, I made a deal with Clint. <coughs> frozen vacuum blender that I wouldn't smoke any of it until he could smoke it with me so we're either going to do like a live review on it or hopefully we're we're trying to meet up sometime in March and smoke it then but we both heard that if you like number nine Latakia Flake number nine from Brevia You'll love the Balkan, it's even better, supposedly. And I absolutely love and adore the number nine, so I took a chance. Figured I'm probably gonna like it. I bought a couple of two Dr. Graybo Omegas bent off of eBay. One didn't have a stem, which is just like the first one, actually. This is the first Dr. Graybo Omega that I got off of eBay for four bucks and it didn't have a stem and I put the stem on it. Fits really nice. I got the next one, it's rusticated and it's missing the stem. And then another one is smooth but lighter than this. Has the original stem with the P-lip on it, but the hole isn't at the top where it's supposed to be. It's kind of been like, you can tell where it's been clenched and stuff. It's kind of pushed it. Or maybe their P-lip is just at the front, but the, the hole is actually at the front. The stem needs some work, sanding on it, cleaning it. Both of them need uh, Both of them are in need of a deep clean uh, before I'll even touch them. And I'm thinking that the rusticated one which is one I'm going to have to make or fit a stem to. Uh, I am probably going to sand the bottom of it off flat. So it'll be a sitter. So it'll hang. Which is uh, a style that I am really liking here lately. And then when I'm not using it, I can set it down. Maybe just slightly forward so that the weight... We'll see. But I'm interested to see how that one comes out. And if I screw it up, it cost me 10 bucks shipped. So, not too bad. It actually cost more for the shipping than it did for the pipe. I also picked up a can of that. And a tin of that. 
Sunday Picnic is an amazing blend that I feel there's just something lacking in it to make it just a full complete blend uh, but amazing to smoke all day uh, if you're not looking for that Latakia hit this is perfect Star of the East Lake is an amazing blend I love it I don't think there's anything you can do to this blend to make it better except maybe age it uh, I have several tins of it aging in the cellar. What I plan on doing, however, because I figured similar components, similar components, because this has uh, Perique Orientals and Virginias. This has uh, Orientals Latakia and Virginias, Red Virginias. These are Golden Virginias. But I am going to try to stack these in the press, alternating layers between the two, and press it. Uh, I know because it's not leaf, it's not going to um, press like my plugs do. It's probably going to end up being a uh, crumble cake, and I'm okay with that. I just really want to see what the flavors do together as I put them together. And then one last update. Uh, the Dagners had a sale going on. And I couldn't afford to buy anything except for a brand new poker cob. Um, this will be the fourth Dagner poker that I have. It is the first one that has not been marked out. Uh, the one I bought from them previously, I'm pretty sure they marked out their half of it because it was a second. Um, and that one has become my Frog Morton pipe. Anytime I want to smoke Frog Morton, I smoke it in that. Any Frog Morton blend because they're all pretty close together and I haven't smoked them in a while, but... So I'm debating on if I'm going to put my church warden stem onto that one and then just use this one as a straight poker. The first one was a second that Standard Texan got in a grab bag. He fixed it with some pipe mud and uh, gifted it to me. The second one I got came from uh, Mod Piper. He put a bamboo shank on it. Uh, that one's my Virginia poker. The one from Standard Texan is my Latakia poker. The third one, like I said, was dedicated to Frog Morton blends. Uh, but I think that one's going to get a Church Warden stem added to it <clears throat> to have a Church Warden poker. Because uh, I saw someone do it like over a year ago and I decided that I wanted to do that because it looked really cool. And then I got this one. Um... Just to have a set. Uh, the Church Warden one has already had a lot of key run through it. So this one might be a Virginia. I uh, haven't decided yet, but should be cool. So, pretty amped up for this uh, IPSD. Getting some nice stuff together continuously stocking the cellar and uh, trying to make my blends. I did order some more leaf uh, not for any experimenting but just to make more of the blends that I have made because I've enjoyed them so much and I have traded and or gifted samples of them out and I am almost out already of the stuff that I just made. So I'm going to be making a couple more pounds to go into the cellar this time around. Uh, yeah, I think that's it. That's all that's been going on. Other than that, I have been working like crazy. And uh, trying to knock some stuff out here and there. We've got my oldest daughter is in soccer. 
My middle son is going out for the baseball team. My youngest is, <laughs> you know, about to turn five. So it's been, it's been uh, busy. So. That's really all I had. I just wanted to jump on, say hello, and happy International Pipe Smoking Day to everybody. Catch y'all up on the going ons in the mod shop. Not much. And uh, hope y'all are having a great one. Until next time, y'all keep them full lit and rolling. The bagpiper out.